So we pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. We remind ourselves of God's love through our prayers. Shall we pray? Ready? Ready up? From the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front to my wiggly fingers, God loves me! Yay! Let's sing. God speaks, we listen. Remind ourselves, we're going to listen to God today. Thanks for joining in and singing. Great to hear you. Well, we need our friend Grover if we're going to explore the Bible, don't we? Ollie suggested we could do a Batman voice. Batman talks like this. Grover. So we might do that. If you've got a voice you'd like us to call for Grover with, let me know. Get your parents to send me an email or tell me at church. We can use the voice you want to hear. But ready? Try Batman voice. Ready? One, two, three. Grover! Hi, oh, Batman, oh, Batman. Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me. Oh, oh, I was getting excited for a minute. You excited to see me? Um, something like that. Excited to see Batman. Oh, you excited to see Batman. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Well, we're here to talk about the Bible again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and a story about a, a, a guy who comes to Jesus. He did come to Jesus. Do you remember what he asked? How do I get eternal life? Yeah. I, I, I bet I know what the answer is. Well, you know the answer. Yep. Eat lots of healthy food, vegetables and things like that, and then you'll live forever. Well, that's probably a good thing to eat healthy food. Oh, and, and exercise. Exercise. Exercise and healthy food. Well, those are two good things to help us live well now. Oh, and some good friends. You need good friends. And healthy food and exercise. Okay. They're all good things for having a good life. And you probably need a nice place to live. A nice place to live, a healthy food. Okay, Grover. They're all good. They're helping us to have a good life here. But when Jesus and the man talks about eternal life, he doesn't mean, how can I live for it? Good medicine. Good medicine will help. No, no, Grover. He's not talking about living forever on earth now. But he's talking about how can I get eternal life? How can I get to heaven, we might say? Oh, oh you die. <laughs> You die and you might go to heaven. But, but how can you be sure you're going to heaven? Oh, oh I, I see. Yes, yes. Well, how do you? Well, do you remember what he said to the man? Oh, you've got to follow all the laws. Well, yeah, Jesus says, you know, there's the Ten Commandments. And he particularly picks out the ones that talk about how we relate to other people. He says, well, it's good to live these things out. And what's the man? Oh, the man says, I've done all those things. He must be a pretty good man. He must be a pretty good man. He says, I've done all of those things. And Jesus looks at him. And he's proud of him. Like, he doesn't go, oh, no, you're not. You're too boastful, blah, blah, blah. 
done a pretty good job. And Jesus says, there's one more thing. You need to take your wealth. Go and sell it. And give the money to the poor. Oh, so we've got to be poor. Well, no. And we've got to sell all our things. Oh, I'll, I'll just go and sell this chair over here. No, no, grab it. And we don't have to sell all our things. So Jesus realises that for this man, his whole life has revolved around getting lots of money and lots of things. Oh, that's sort of what his attention's on. That's right. That's His attention is on both getting money and wealth. And he's not thinking about other people. He's not thinking about the things of God. And so Jesus says, well, you've got to change your thinking. You've got to get rid of those things that are drawing your attention away so you can focus on the things of God. Ah, oh, 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 so you can do the, the right things and love others and care about them. That's right. If you're worrying about getting money, you're not caring about loving others, are you? Ah, oh, well, that's true. And so for each of us, we need to think about, are there things that we are focused on that's stopping us connecting from God? Maybe it's, are we doing things that stop us from maybe going to family service or Sunday school or um, Jaffa or Boys Brigade or Girls Brigade or something like that? Is there something we might need to give up so that we can have time we've got? Or is it just, I'm too focused and I'm sitting in church and I'm busy thinking about the game I'm going to play when I get home? And maybe I just need to let that go so I can focus on God in this moment. Oh, oh, oh. Or, or maybe, you know, turning the TV off you know, five minutes early so you can have a Bible story before we had... Oh, maybe that's an awesome idea. You might try that this week if you don't normally have a Bible story somewhere during the day. Where's five minutes when you can stop doing something, turn off the TV, not stop your homework? Don't, don't, don't say Richard said that. Richard didn't say that. But stop and read the Bible and think about it. This story and other stories. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, we should go and do it. We should go and do it. Don't forget this week, Sunday school is at Mount Gravatt at our 8.30 service. So come along for that. Now, we haven't done any craft or activities. We haven't. It's been a bit boring. It has been a bit boring. So I've got a challenge for you. So for the man, his money was an obstacle. It made him hard to focus on God. I wonder if you could come up with an obstacle course. Oh, I'm lucky I can go up around here and up, up over here and go over. That's not going to work. It isn't? No. What if I go over here? Go over. No, come on, back over here. See if you can come up with an obstacle course. And then why don't you get your mum or dad to film you doing the obstacle course? And maybe send it in. If you want, we can show it in next week's video, you doing your obstacle course. See how adventurous you can get. What you're going to climb over, climb under. Check with your parents that you can move things and climb over and under them. Go round them. But see if you can come up with a cool obstacle course. Bet you can. Ah, oh, I bet they can. I'm going to love seeing some of these obstacle courses. So am I. See you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody.